Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Rainbow Six News. So today we've got another teaser for the new season of Rainbow Six Siege, which is called Demon Vale. Not Ghost Noodles, which is surprising. But anyway, let's get into it, because of course this is our first look at the new opera, and we do have a little bit extra stuff to break down as well. And I can say at this point that I have played the new season, so I will be just breaking down what we can visually see here. And I've also grabbed a higher res image that shows some other stuff as well, which I think is very interesting. And also at this point, I was actually expecting this to be a trailer today, not another teaser. So maybe we'll get a trailer tomorrow. That's something we don't get to see as content creators, so I'm actually super excited to see that. But anyway, let's break this down. So we've got a female operator here. And from the other teasers, this is probably a Japanese operator. We've obviously got half of her face covered with a dragon or a lion. And then on her face, she's actually got a face mask on. Very cool looking face mask. Behind her is a destroyed or broken wall with a circular thing in it. And that's basically it. Of course, combine this with the previous teaser. This is obviously the same operator with the same kind of suit on and this is the other thing i actually have a high quality version of that previous trailer that shows something about our gadget so if we actually zoom in on this you can see that inside the throwing knife there is actually two vials or like chemical components and i assume the names they've got them are probably fictional chemicals uh, but maybe they're real i don't know but there's something you know 13 and something seven there and there's obviously a toxic kind of label and warning sign on one of them. So obviously with two chemicals, you can mix them together to get different stuff. You could get like resin, you could get toxic gas, you could get expanding foam, you could get all kinds of stuff with a combination of two different chemicals. Or it could be, you can flick between them. Maybe you can throw this and it'll make a toxic gas cloud, or maybe you can flick between it and it sets off fire. That'd be, you know, sweet as hell. But obviously very weird to have it in a throwing knife. And when I first seen this, I thought it was going to be a low-tech gadget. But this obviously makes it much more high-tech, chemical-based. And obviously it could be toxic or explosive or a mix of other stuff in there. Now today's teaser did come with some text, but it's not as revealing as the other stuff. I just said it's almost time to come out of the shadows. And that's probably just referring to the fact that the reveal will be on the 19th, followed by the uh, Year 7 roadmap on the 20th. So, yeah, not going to be too long till we find out. That'll be Saturday when we get to see this new operator in action. And then if it goes as normal, we'll probably see the test ever on the 21st or 22nd with a launch, potentially something like 15th of March around about for the actual full platform launch for the new season. Now, of course, I'm actually more excited to see the roadmap. This is the thing about this time of year when we get the reveal of the whole new roadmap for an entire year. And then also one season of content as well, because the, the roadmap to me is always a far more interesting thing. But obviously it'll be good to see this operator in action, but I just love seeing the roadmaps. So yeah. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you're thinking so far of these teasers and this new operator. And also speculate, and obviously I'm you know, trying to keep away from spoilers, but speculate what you would do with this gadget and its dual canister component and yeah how would it play out i kind of like the idea that you could throw it get it stuck in an enemy and it starts giving off gas and they become basically a little gas grenade that if they panic and start running around could totally ruin their own team but anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time hopefully tomorrow with a trailer